yeah, I mean, we're talking real life. This is, we're talking to real people about real things, discussing real problems, coming up with real solutions. This is, this is, this is our life. This is my life. This is real life. <laughs> now what? Nah, talk about. You can talk about I wasn't gonna though. talk about you. I was gonna say. I'm not sure somebody would probably want to know. What version do you read? I read the. I read the NASV. NAS, I NASV. read the KJV. Hold on, hold on. NA, NASB. Oh, okay, good. I, I read the New American Standard Bible. Look at that. We're like Bible twins. <laughs> I read the KJV too. Oh, okay, I don't read that one. Now what? I mean, I, I, I do. I read the King James. I like the dials and. Arts and but you can't. But you can't understand. I it. do understand it very, very clearly. You it's, understand? It's actually, it? it's actually not as complicated as people think. You really? Do you really understand? How, how it's do you not, read your Bible? It's I'm, not. I'm, I mean, just judging from lifestyle, I don't think it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> whatever. I read my Bible oh, and I practice. Man. I try my best to practice what I preach. Come on, somebody. I practice. Are you practice more, what I read. Are you more of like a Leviticus type of Christian? Or are you? I'm, I think I'm more of a Christian. You're more of like a you're more of like a Church of Galatia. I think I'm more of like a. I think I'm more of like a. Are you like a Church of Corinth or? No. Like what kind of like good believer are you? I think I'm just a Christian. You're like a, a Levitical type of guy. No, more but I'm, I'm I'm really and, uh, regulation. No, I'm really like a Christian. I'm like a follower of Christ. Just a follower so of Christ. if Jesus so that taught makes it, it different. If Jesus if, taught it. If Jesus taught it, hey, Jesus. If he taught it. You about to if he said that. it. You if he to did it. Come on. Or now. if the apostles taught it. Oh. Said it or did it. So are, that's so, what I'm about. so are they equivalent to to uh, to equivalent Jesus? To what? If they if they taught it like he did, can can mm-hmm. they be as equivalent? You know, some people say some people say that the Apostle Paul is false. <laughs> so you don't know what I have to I'll, say about them. I'll, I think they're false. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! <clears throat> oh my goodness, that's so, good though. I didn't plan. So, what what type of Christian are you? Are you like a Church of Corinth type of Christian? No, I'm just kind of like a mixture of it. A mixture of them. I'm more like a Church of Philippi, you know. Just, I don't know. I mean, you know. You're not a Levitical type of Christian? Uh, no. I once was. Wow, they're so, they're so fun and funny. <laughs> they are. They really are. And they're very annoying as well. They're extremely annoying. They're not annoying to me. I yes, think it's funny. Annoying. No, they're very annoying. They're very funny to me. They're very annoying. It's uh, like, it's like you can't, they can't even see through their own, hippo, their own hypocritical garbage. Like they can't even That's see it. True. They can't even see through it. They're so busy throwing stones at everybody else that they can't even see that they themselves don't have it but all it, together. It's interesting to me when you talk, when I talk to them, though, no, because I try to get them to understand it, and a lot of times they do because they don't know. It. A lot of times that's the type of stuff it just come from. They were just brought up in a certain type of way in church, and that's the only way that they believe, and they don't. They haven't heard anything different because they're taught not to really hear this to anything. Hmm. I don't really think that's true, but I mean, yeah, it sounds good. It, it, I'm, I was there. You were there for what? I was. I grew up in that type of mind frame. What type of mind frame? The more of a legalistic type of mind frame. Wasn't your dad your pastor? My dad was my pastor at one point of life. Yes. So, was it your dad who put you in a legalistic frame of mind frame, or was it like the no. person, the preacher before you? It was, I grew up. I grew up in a Pentecostal. A Pentecostal type church. Come on, not now. not come speaking on. against every Pentecostal type church. Come on, come on. Because I don't know all of them. Come on, but now. the all church right. that I grew up in, uh huh, it created me to have that type of mind frame. What kind of mind frame? Uh-huh. It might didn't do that for everybody, but with well, me, it did. Okay, well, I'm talking about you. We, if they all know it's not. It's not. Them. I like to keep things really, really clear so nobody don't take my words out of context. People gonna take them out of context. They take Jesus' but, words out of context. But as long as I make them clear, you're then I'm, Jesus, I'm, I'm, so I'm perfectly you okay. You can't make it. You can't I, make anything clear. People gonna take it how they want to take it. Just about you. What was the mindset you had, silly? You done? 
So the mindset I had was, thank you. I I felt like um, I felt like man, if you didn't wear a dress, oh, and you were a woman, then you didn't really love Jesus. Oh, I felt like if you had gold teeth in your mouth, oh, you really didn't know God. Oh. I felt. What about I tattoos? Felt, Come on, t- tell me about tattoos. How did you feel with people who had on tattoos? Because you have, what, six or? Actually, I don't have six. I have five. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking against the Levitical act. I'm just. Anyway, but, I think it's anyway, kind of funny, but, you know. anyway. But no, serious, serious question. Thought, what do you know about people who had tattoos? Because you, you got. I never really thought about those. How old were you when you got your tattoos? You didn't I think got, about tattoos? I didn't think about tattoos because you should all. They, they taught in the church that you should always, like men Cover should up. wear, yeah. And so I really didn't think about oh, it. So you didn't think about anything really, underneath, the, uh, underneath the apparel? I didn't think about it because you didn't really see it to even address oh. it. Unless you, you know, talked about it in church with. They didn't really talk about it like that. Hmm. But I got my, all of my tattoos. What about makeup? I got when I was 16. You got all your tattoos when you were 16? 16. How did you get some, tattoos done like when you were 16? When I was oh, weren't you underage? Yeah, but they didn't really care. So you, so your your tattoo artist put on the, put you on a tattoo put on a tattoo on you when you were sixteen. Yes. What was the name and phone number? I want to get them written up. <laughs> I think I think one of the ladies dead now. Well, that's well, that's terrible. How was she when she did it? You I are know, you she's are not like sixteen. Old. She, I think. She, How was she when she did I think it? She like, died she, from like. I don't know what she died from, but I know she died from. Was this like a lady that you knew? No, no, no. I just saw I, I saw on Facebook and people that get tattoos they talked about it. It was like a. Not a big thing, but so was, she was like pretty well known in Pickett, Puckett, it, where you grew up. I didn't. You grew up in Puckett, Alabama. <laughs> Let's make it <laughs> Pickett, Puckett, wherever it is. I grew up in Mobile, Alabama. You grew up in Mobile. You grew up in in Puckett or Pickett or whatever. It's I grew called. up in Mobile. Grew up Pickett. Pickett just. I mean, it's like me saying I grew up in Atlanta. I didn't grow up in Atlanta. I grew up in Riverdale. I grew. I actually grew up. I grew up in, in Riverdale, Riverdale, the home of Southside. I grew up in Tomanville. That's where I grew Tomanville. up. Tomanville. Yeah. Toman. Is that Tomanville, Alabama? Tomanville. Yes, it's in Mobile. It's not in Mobile. It's Tomanville all by itself. It's like saying it's like saying Powder Springs is in Atlanta. On my driver's license, my driver's license said Mobile, Alabama. Well, I can't help it that your government is. Anyway, I got tattoos when I was sixteen, and I think I got one. My last one, I was seventeen. <laughs> and I got saved. You got saved when I, I gave my life to God when I was nineteen. So how were you? How, how old were you when 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 God got your life? Because I know you say you gave it to Him, but you can't give Him what He already got. So how old were you when when He when when He when He really got your life? <laughs> I gave my life to God. You I can't give God what's already. I surrendered here. my own will. You didn't do that on your own will. Sur- you I didn't surrender yourself. I surrendered he surrendered my- it for you. <laughs> Come on now. I know the word. I know the word. I know the word. You can't invite God into a place where he's a, he'll make habitat. How, how old were you when you when you uh, gave your life to God? I was like 20-something. <laughs> I mean, I got <laughs> baptized when I was young, but I didn't understand it. Did you I get just, baptized again? Of course. I mean, I, no, I got baptized the first time. The first time what? The first time when I was younger, I didn't. I, the reason why I baptized, I wanted, the, I wanted all the... The uh, the missionary the, the missionary board team the usher board and all that kind of stuff to cook me some chicken that's all. <laughs> I, look, I wanted a meal. I was hungry, so. Oh, okay. Did so, you get baptized again? Well, okay. I got I got I got baptized. Yes, I did get baptized. So, uh, <laughs> you wanted some chicken? I wanted some chicken and some cock. Cause you know, well, back in the I mean, they probably do it still in the. In the smaller Baptist churches, when you got baptized, they cooked. They had a big spread for you because it was a celebration. People celebrated you. And I don't uh-huh. think I was probably around, I don't know, six, seven at the time. Oh. Yeah. I, I really, know what I was doing. If you ask, well, I ain't going to even go there. But, okay. Yeah. But God God, God took my life. At, he uh, took it? He took it. I thought it was his. I ain't going to take it if it's his. Because he took it. <laughs> it, was, it was his. It was his. He just he just came and got possession. You know what I'm talking about? And how old were you when that happened? When he came and just got possession? Twenty? No, no. I take that back. No, no, no. I was nineteen. Look at you being nineteen like me. Nineteen. Nineteen years old. Just nineteen. 
just 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 crazy as a whip. I tell you, you. well, you're still crazy. I was yeah, crazy yeah. as a stallion horse. Yeah, I yeah. tell you, when I was a, I mean, I tell you, I was a bucking uh, stallion horse, but I, I was a stallion horse. Yeah, there you go. I was a stallion horse. Yeah. And you got you got your tattoos at 16. Yep, 16. And um, wow, that's something. Yeah. Were you a virgin when you got married? <laughs> Were you a virgin? Were you a virgin when you got married? Uh, <laughs> I was not a virgin when I got married. I was not a virgin. Man. I uh, I was not a virgin. So let me ask you this. Since you thought women oh, didn't he go. know. Here he go. No, I'm asking you. Go, very go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. Since you didn't think that, since you didn't think that, you know, women really love Jesus because they wore, they wore, they didn't yes. wear dresses. Yes. What do you think about yourself seeing that you weren't a virgin? Well, I didn't really think about that. I, I I just knew that God had forgiven me from my Oh, yeah, well, I guess I will say this. So God can forgive you for yours, but I he can't forgive you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking like, well, I didn't think like God didn't forgive people, but I didn't think that people wanted to be forgiven. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think that. Because they were the dress. Yeah, because, yeah, because they were. What about they makeup? Wear I didn't really think about makeup unless it was like super. A lot of makeup? Yeah, that it was. You know, I didn't really know too much. Were you able to watch like movies, like with women who who wore pants? I did, and I I enjoyed the movies that I watched. Mm. But I just really women think that about you it. met in in person. You were like, you should make, you should wear a dress. Yeah, probably women in church. Oh, okay. Uh, or women that said that they loved God. Then I would probably look at them in that type of lens. But it wasn't like everybody. Mm. So. There you go. Yeah, that's a very. That's very how I used to think. What, like, what age did you come out of that? What brought I you came out of, out of that when I started to read the Bible and study the Bible for myself, and I remember. That's a very interesting thing. So, okay, so how did your mindset change? Seeing that you already had a mindset. In real, real, I'm asking this question is because people can read the Bible and uh -huh. they can interpret the Scripture how they, how they, um, how they want to. They can, they can, they can look at it. You know. They can make it blend how they want to. So, like, how did you look at it differently and say, oh, this is not the way it's supposed to be? Well, this is what I did. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Then that, I'm that about to, to tell you what I, I did. Commentary before that, I'm about to tell you. All right, let's spit it out. When I gave my life to God. Mm -hmm. At 19. At 19. When he took it. When he right? took it. All when right. he took it. <laughs> I was gonna I t before I even gave my life to God. I was told God I was gonna be I was gonna be for real whenever I got. I just thought I was gonna be 35 when I gave my life to God. But uh -huh. whenever I gave my life to God, I was gonna be for real. So when I actually did it at 19, I was for real, and I would pray, ask God to help me, and um, God, God, would, God. I guess God, I guess you can say that God spoke to me in the type of way of telling me to read the Bible like I've never been taught anything before. Mm. So once once I was able to do that, I was able to see things very very clear. But I also had questions because they would go against some of the things that I was taught. Like so when it comes you through that, nobody, God. Mm. I didn't have it because everybody that I was around was was Pentecost. They were like how I was, um, and it wasn't until later that I began to get friends that were that so, were not. Okay, so practically, how did God help you out of it? Is I, that doesn't. That doesn't. I know it's probably not gonna make sense, but that's what I'm saying. Like it, to, to some, it may not make sense. But how how does God help one out of it? Literally, just like the scales that He took off uh, Saul's eyes, He really just really did that. There's no way, no other way that I can explain it. He began to show me the scriptures, and uh, I was like, "Dog, this is really what it means. Like this is really what happens." You said then. dog and everything when you got there. And I would ask my dad. And sometimes, and my dad would tell me the answers the best way he knew how, but sometimes he didn't really have the, the answer that, he didn't, you, you know how people answer questions and they talk around it because they don't really know for real, so they talk around it. I do know that. I know that so, very well. So um, he was kind of doing that, and like I didn't want to pressure him because I didn't, I know that, I kind of knew that, you know, was going on. So uh, I was like, man, God, you are really showing me something here. And it was, it was just great when... Uh, what did you do with the information he gave you? Kept it. Stored it in my heart and began to ask God to help me build from it. Mm. Um, which was kind of hard because a lot of it went against a lot of stuff that I really believed. And the church was really pushing for me, you know, kind of to have the mind frame of. Wow. The, 
the church wants you to like preach with them, like preach, like get under their covering and. No, I was very, very shy. I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk or anything at, at church or anything like that. You were Absolutely shy? never wanted to be a preacher or anything like that. That wasn't even in the. That was like. Why so you want to be a preacher? I mean, you know, it's a it's a worthwhile profession. I would never. I I never wanted to do that. That. I, I didn't even have to think twice. Why? I don't know. Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Life with Cornelius Lindsay. Hey, if you get an opportunity, please check out my website, www.corneliuslindsay.com. Until next time, remember, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.